and welcome to The Bishop is Speaking. My name is Bishop Melvin J. Rivers and I am the host. We're so glad that you tuned in to The Bishop is Speaking. I am the overseer of Paraclete Evangelistic Ministries. We are located at 3815 North Tryon Street in the Conference Center. Today on the broadcast, we are going to be talking about your hearing. Mm. A lot of people, they listen, but they're not hearing. Faith comes by hearing, and hearing by the Word of God. And we're going to be talking about the 10th chapter of Romans. One of the things that we have to understand about the text is that we cannot read our own interpretation into the text. That anyone that has been theologically educated or under a good pastor or overseer, they have been trained in biblical hermeneutics. And hermeneutics is proper biblical interpretation. What is God saying? And God is not schizophrenic. He's the same God today, yesterday, and forevermore. So if God said it, he meant it the first time. The problem that we have is in any church, the pastor can deliver the message and the message is distorted by the noise. The noise is the distance in between what he said and what you heard. In context, we found out that the Jews, they were hearing the message of the gospel, but they were trying to Judaize everyone. They wanted them to, to earn their salvation by the law. And Jesus came to fulfill the law. Now, I don't want to mess up the message. Don't touch that dial. Call a friend and let them know the bishop is speaking and there is a word from the Lord. Lord, listen. If Jesus Christ is not the Lord of your life, then I don't know how you're going to get in heaven. That's right. He is the way, the truth, and the light. Amen. And the main reason why we have to talk about this thing is because you would be surprised what people believe. Yeah. Some people think there's a different way. They think you can get in heaven another way. Amen. They think that 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 my philosophy, some of them think of think about the, the program. Some of them think about parachurch ministry. Let me tell you something. All that God can work with all of that. Amen. But none of that trumps Jesus Christ. Amen. Amen. That's right. Amen. 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 And if you're not covered with the blood, Amen. you've been hoodwinked and bamboozled. Amen. Someone else say it. Amen. Amen. Paul attempts to persuade the Jews to believe in Christ. Paul, Paul professes his good affection to the Jews with the reason of a good wish. I wish that they might be saved. Saved from the ruin and destruction that were coming upon them. Saved from the wrath to come, eternal wrath, which was hanging over their heads. It implied in the wish that they might be convinced and converted. A lot of people, and some might very well be sitting in church, they are not convinced. They are not convinced that this thing works. Yes. Mm. They are not convinced and some are not converted. Let me tell you something. Sanctification is a process. 
If you get in the process and learn how to trust God, God will bring you to spiritual maturity. Amen. But what you've got to do, you've got to trust God and take Him at His word. Listen, you've got to throw your hands up and say, my God, I don't know what I'm talking about. I don't know what I'm talking about. I don't know what I'm doing. Look at where I'm, look at where I brought myself. Look at the condition that I'm in. You mean to tell me that your denial is so thick that you can look around in an adverse situation and still think you know what you're talking about? Amen. 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 I mean, look at the fruit that is around you. Look at the circumstances. Be honest with yourself and ask yourself, is it working? If it's working, keep doing what you do. Okay. If it's not working, stop everything. We got to do something different. Amen? Yeah. Amen. Uh, are you convinced and converted? That is the wish I have for you this morning. You know, some people get offended at the gospel. Mm -hmm. yeah. Yes. They got a problem with Jesus. Amen. Amen. They got a problem with the church. Now let me tell you what the real truth of the matter is. Mm -hmm. Let me tell you what right. the real truth of the matter is. Great, oh, they want the covering. Great. Great. Oh, they want the cover. Great. They don't want the devil to take them what take them through what they've been through. Amen. So they want to be covered. Amen. 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 But they don't want to be convinced. And convert it. Amen. See, some people right. come into the program and you know why they get put out? Mm -hmm. Guess what? They have not been convinced that they got to follow the rules mm -hmm. right. yeah. and they have not been converted to the point that they do follow the rules. Right. Right. And they get right. put out. Mm. Yeah. And they go through the cycle in life all over again and they constantly point the finger at somebody else not recognizing the common denominator. Amen. 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 Everywhere Amen. I go, I get put out. Amen. Amen. Uh, the unbelieving Jew, you ready for this? Some people are in relationships and they don't even know how to live. Hey, all right. It happens. All right, all right, all right. Let me tell you what I mean by that. They're in the room, but they're not a part of the room. Preach now. They're in the church, but they're really not here. Their mind is on the other side of town. They're in the church, in body. But they don't care nothing but this church. All right, now. They don't support the church. Yeah. All right. They ain't got nothing for you. Yeah. All right. And the only time they want to show up is when you serve them food. All right. Yeah. All right. Yeah. All right. Yeah. Yeah. All right. Yeah. Word. How many people know Word. that the food is not free? Amen. All right. Now. <laughs> All right. Now. How many people, let's just say, I've got to watch it. Okay, here we go. Right. You have the marriage, but you don't know how to love. All right. You in the marriage, but guess what? You don't know how to give the person gifts that show that you really care about them. All right, All right. When you give them something, it, it's not worth anything. All right. And some people don't give anything. Man, let me tell you something. You couldn't be hooked up with me. Oh, just as soon as I find out this is a bad investment, I'm cutting you off. Amen. God can use people who are committed. God can use people that if they believe this, you know what? We gonna fight tooth and nail because this is what I believe. That's right. I ain't giving it. Amen. Amen. 
Now, until you tell me something different, we going down with this. Amen. 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 God can use people because he knows once he converts you, you're going to be a mighty warrior in the kingdom because you ain't got that witchy watchy personality. That's right. That's right. You are a soldier. That's right. If we sign you up for battle, you going down with the ship. Amen. Amen. So we can so we can work with people. We can work with you. Whatever, whatever is your personality, we can work with you. God designed you that way, and we can work with you. If you've been out there selling dope, when you come in here, we're gonna teach you how to start a business. Yeah. 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 Oh, Amen. For some people that like to run their mouth, maybe God wants you to be want to use you to evangelize. Uh-huh. Some people got the gift of health. Am I right about it? Yeah. Amen. Well. Here is where it comes. Sound check. Sound check. Check the mic. What are you hearing? Amen. What are you hearing? You would be surprised as to if I went around the room right now, we could probably have a multiplicity of views as to what they're hearing. Yeah. What are you hearing? What is God telling you about you and about your situation? Are you sitting up in here focusing on me? All right, man. All right. And my personality? All right. I didn't know I was that important. Yeah. 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 Amen. 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 Did you come in here for any other reason than to hear from God? Amen. 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 When you come to church, you're supposed to be listening. Amen. What is God telling me about my situation? Amen. What is what what is what the, I got some decisions that I've got to make. I, mean, I didn't come in here for fashion and real. I've got some real issues in my life, and I need the Lord to lead me and guide me in all truth. Yes. Amen. Thank you. And that's why you gotta come to Bible study yes. so that we can teach you how to hear from God. That's yeah. right. Yes. That's right. We can teach you how to exegete the text and get the intended message. Not some of that old stuff that them old jack leg preachers did come and dictate the word of God and make it say what they wanted to say. How many people know God is not schizophrenic? Yes. 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 Multiple personality disorder. That's right. right. I'm telling you one thing one time and they say something to somebody else the next time. Ah, oh, he's the same God today, Amen. yesterday, Amen. and forevermore. Put your hands together. So you in a church that for number one, see, we're going to get you from the point of just sitting in the pews and not even being engaged, not even caring about the church, not even sowing into the church. You sitting there taking up space, you are a taker. You are third and fourth and fifth generational taker. You take, 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 and don't give nothing. That's right. Right now. And you up on the curse. Yeah. Yeah. All right now. We gotta get you from that to be a disciple. Yeah. Amen. Yeah. When we get you to be a disciple, you are a disciplined learner, even disciplined in your giving. Yeah. Yes. Yes. I'll yeah. tell you what I'm going to do. I'm going to start opening the records. I'm going to print out the records that are given in here, and I'm going to put it on the wall, and let everybody see the perpetrators. All right. Woo! All right. Yeah. All right. Now, now mm. how much? I'm going to give you a 30 day probation. All right. Now. See? Yeah. See, that clear out a whole section. Yeah. 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 All right. I ain't offering but two dollars. All right. Yeah. All right, now. Huh? All right. Amen. 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 See, that's how you gotta preach. Amen. You know why you gotta preach like this? Yeah. We got a whole lot of pew members, yeah. and we're not here for pew members. Yeah. We're here for disciples. We're here to get you out out of the seat of do nothing and get you into the will, the center of God's will for your 
your life. And until you get to the center of God's will from your life, you ain't never going to be nothing. You ain't never going to live out your purpose. You know why? Because you on the outside looking in. I'm so in the car. I'm in the one jump out. Come on, come on, come on. Ah, y'all ready to ride? Ah, somebody else sitting in the pit. Woo, it's tight, but it's right. Somebody say glory! Somebody say hallelujah! Somebody say come back here, Lord! I'm getting tight in here! Jesus came to fulfill the, the predictions of the prophets who had long for told that a savior would one day appear. Yes. Mm -hmm. He came to fulfill the ceremonial law by being the great sacrifice. Yes. He came to fulfill the moral law by showing you how to live. Amen. Amen. Jesus Christ paid the price that you could live the abundant life it is through Jesus Christ. Yes. Don't get it twisted. Amen. If you're not in the car, covered in the blood, yes. you in a taxi cab going to hell. Let us never listen to those who bid us to throw it away. You know why? Because the Old Testament lets you know that you need God. Amen. 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 The Amen. Old Testament is, yes. the, is the law that lets you know yes. you should do unto others yes. as you would have them to do unto you. Amen. Amen. The Old Testament is the one that lets you know that when you do these things, you are outside of the will of God. Amen. Amen. Somebody else say amen. Amen. The Old Testament is an embryo for Christianity. The Old Testament is the gospel in a bud, but the New Testament is a revelation. Amen. Of the true meaning of God's word. Yes. Amen. See, when you really get a true meaning of God's word, Amen. you recognize that if I've got the word in me, then I've got to have love in me. Amen. And if I've got God in me, I'm not just concerned about myself. Amen. I'm concerned about you. Amen. I'm concerned about your welfare. Amen. That's why I'm the bishop. Amen. I done had a whole lot of folk come to me and say, oh, Bishop, you know what? I've got a situation. You know what? I'm blessed. Amen. I'm blessed. And I work with my people. Amen. But you know what the problem is? Some people hear that testimony and they'll start trying to devise schemes to get my money. Come on. Mm -hmm. yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. And that's not what this is about. Yeah. 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 Let me tell you what this is about. This is about love. Amen. 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 This is about this church is supposed to be a house of love that you know what we do? We give you when you need it. Amen. 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 Y'all don't hear me? Amen. 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 It is what it is. Yes. What is the gospel? It is a gospel of peace and reconciliation. That's right. Bishop. God wants to bring you back to the state that he intended you to be. That's right. That's right. And in order for us to get you there, we got to wash off attitudes, wash off passion.
past failure, <laughs> wash off your hurts, wash off that poverty mindset you got. We got to wash that stuff off of you and get you to the point that you say, you know what, I'm going to take God at his word. Right. I'm going to live to be the best that I could be. Amen. 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 I'm going to go after the fruit that's on the top of the tree. Amen. 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 Yes. That be true of all that scholar, no philosophy stuff that he said. I'm not going to let that stuff be true about me. Good. You just been converted. Amen. Got to get some of that booty. All right. See? Faith comes by hearing. Yeah. And hearing yeah. by the word of God. Right. And when you hear the message, yeah. what you going to do? Yeah. You going to focus on me? No. You going to focus on me? Focus on my personality? Let me tell you what that is. That's a cheap car. All right, now. The reason why that's a cheap car because you don't want to deal with with the truth. It hits you. You don't want to deal with it. So now you want to focus on, you know, that bishop, that's all he do, talk about money. And every time I come in that church, he talk about money. Well, then look here, you've been to fried chicken Sunday, you've been to the bishop reception, you've been to the big you to eat three meals. All right. All right. And when I check the record, you ain't giving me no two dollars. Right, now. Now that's a shame. Yeah. Mm. That's a shame before God. Yeah. And you right now when I find you. Yeah. You have to get something. Yeah. 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 Now if I was a woman, I'd expect the same thing from your man. Amen. Yeah. Uh, if you were a man. And the only thing he got is a smooth conversation. You don't ever go in his water? Put it out! 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 Put it Today is your day that you're going to make up your mind that you're going to let God lead you oh. yes. and straighten out your life. Amen. You got to surrender. Yes. yes. <laughs> if you don't want to surrender, you still in the taxi cab, going to hell. Amen. 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 I got to the point myself. Well, I said, you know what? This is who? Can't do it. Can't do it. Can't do it. I got all these problems. I'm tired of playing this role. Amen. I'm tired of trying to convince everybody that I know what I'm doing. Amen. I really don't know what I'm doing. Amen. So if my life is going to get better, yes. I've yes. got to be honest with myself. Amen. Thank you. God said, if you confess with your mouth, the Lord Jesus, and believe in your heart that God raised him from the dead, you are saved. Amen. And if you confess and believe, we ain't got no choice but to work with you. Amen. 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 You in the church. Amen. 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 And we're going to love you where you are. Amen. Amen. And we're going to teach you Thank how you. to live right. Thank you, God. And if you Amen. keep putting one 
footprint in front of the other. You are going to wake up one day and Amen. find Amen. out that your life has gotten better. Well, 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 I know that you enjoy that sermon. Listen, we've got to understand that our faith is very valuable to us. And God wants us to be brought from a pew member to a disciple. And a disciple is a disciplined learner disciplined in your hearing, understanding the text, understanding what it meant in context, and being able to interpret it as to what is God saying today? What does this message mean to me? How does it apply to my life? Listen, over at Paraclete Evangelistic Ministries, every Sunday morning, we are teaching the Word of God. We would love for you to come and experience a worship service with us. The church is located at 3815 North Tryon Street in the Conference Center. You can find us on the web. We have the information at the bottom of the screen. We want you to know that we love you. And beloved, God wishes above all things that you would prosper and be in good health, even as your soul prospers. We will see you next time. Until then, God bless you and be in